What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back with my monster on the rise, and we are in some break. And we got our Frostcraft set, and it's absolutely disgusting. So, I took a little bit of time because I wanted to refine it a little bit and get it like optimal. But this build is ready for title update five when we get some juicy five four star decorations because i got a lot of decoration slots available to kind of maximize the damage here but we don't have none of those decos here but what i'm going to showcase is the build the abilities the damage all the things a couple of fights so my family if you're new make sure you guys subscribe give the video a thumbs up because it supports me a lot without further ado let's dive in so frostcraft a couple of things it's absolutely amazing so what happens is as you attack you get damage bonuses all the way down to the bottom when you're maximum level right here you get a hundred what is it? i believe is um 1.3 1.3 damage increase on your attacks so a frost crab you're gonna want to have all three levels of it because it's not worth it unless you have all three but what happens is it kind of limits your ability to some of the skills you can use but cool thing is this Frostcraft set, especially the, the I think the chest comes with quick sheet three, so it makes it very, very good for longsword. So essentially it works very, very good with sacred sheet playstyle because sacred sheet playstyle, you shoot your weapon. And at this point, your ability to push your, all your ability goes into your first hit, boom, and you do some disgusting damage. Optimally, if you can miss the first two hits and hit on the last one, you'll get a big, big damage because that's where your, most of your damage comes from. But if you want your other hits tend to hit, it's okay because you do some ju juicy damage as well. So Frostcast said, what I recommend is if you're using the Shaker Seat, you want to use Temper Spirit Blade because you want to build your meter quickly as fast as you can. And also too, Temper Spirit, Spirit Blade, it builds your wire bug meter very, very quickly as well. On the other, then you want to have your Shaker Sheet on your special skill you can put whatever you want on but there you can use this one or harvest moon but i use i like that one on the other side you're gonna want to make sure you have sakura slash or your other ability that way in case a situation when a monster is turned over you can build your gauge very quickly then you want to put your sacred sheet on your special ability on that side as well because you don't want to have to waste time switch between the boat of the skill trees in order to get your sacred sheet off so that's the kind of the optimal place that i would recommend using when you're using sacred sheet i got a full video on challenge sacred sheet if you want to check that out if you want to convert your place down so does it work for typical helm breaker yeah it does but helm breaker you're hitting a lot and that's where you're not going to get as much damage bonus from here because as you can see i'll build my meter again with sacred sheet you put your weapon away and it's charging doing this thing and boom you're ready to go so now we talked about the skill set how everything works you want to use a Valkana long i mean you can use any longsword you want but if you use a Valky longsword it speeds up the gauge of frost crap a little bit faster compared to the other weapons i think it's like five to ten percent faster so and also too this weapon has purple sharpness pretty good raw damage so that's why i chose it up for my set so now let's go look at the build real quick so for the build i augmented my valky sword as high as i can possibly go at the moment right now i can go five let me see the show over here i can go six all attack on the next one you get sharpness as well which is nice even more attack so my abilities right now they're looking pretty juicy attacks max out critical eye max out handicraft because I want that extra damage from the purple, crit boost, quick disaster boy, ice attack, focus, quick sheet, storm resistance, frost scrap, agitator 2, P2 performance, 2 crit draw, and etc. etc. And also I got the power mantle, which is good. Comes from Tails for body part because it gives you random bursts of damage, which is absolutely amazing. So now what making all this hat making all this work, I have the tails for piece. My augmentations are disgusting. Not crazy skills this time around, but slottage is what I was going after because I really want to get it ready for future proofing the set for what's to come. So I got a little four slot over there. Moving along. This one is augmented as well with agitator. And I think that was it on this one. This one gave me an extra slot and another agitator. So this is level four now. Another level four. So I'm just absolutely rolling in the two levels of attack. Took away with my credit and gave me another level four so I could put my 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 ice tools in there. As far as level one decoration, there's yeah. I'm like, I, just, I decided to go ice because why not? Because now there aren't that many crazy decorations that I can utilize in this situation. For my mantle, 
This one is just all attack boosts on it, and I got another level one attack too, so it's absolutely disgusting. You guys are always curious to see how my decoration loadout look, and this is kind of what I kind of got going on. I got the Deostrus decoration, so like as I continue to attack, I build my credit as well. And this is kind of what we got going on. Absolutely juicy. It's probably the strongest set I could make at the current moment. I could augment it, but the problem with augmenting with this set is some of the base skills on it are so good. Like, I don't want to sacrifice. This one comes with Quick Sheet 3 and Frostcraft. I'm not going to sacrifice any of those, so I'm limited there. This one comes with Critical Draw. I sacrifice one of those because I have a good amount of chance to crit every already. And this one comes with Focus and Frostcraft. I could, I could potentially sacrifice one of those. It's not that big of a deal because you already charge it pretty quickly when you're using Sticky Sheets. So, if anything, I would augment that one a little bit more. But I got a level four deck on it, so I was like, mm, let's see it like that for now. All right, here we go. Afflicted Tigrex. Exactly what we need for these juicy counters. All right, let's see what the build can do. Mm. All right, get that one going. Beautiful. Mm. Should we go for? Ah, what the? How? What? What's, what happened with that damage? Just like that, keep it coming. There it is. There it is. Okay. Warm him up. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least we got the head on that one. I thought we were going to get played again. Hmm. Bring it over here. Oh, had to. So I'm gonna wait here all the time. Oof. Oof. Oh yeah. Oh. Come on. No. No. Mmm. Close to the edge. Good. Oh, oh, encounters, baby. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh, it's so satisfying. Here we go. Ooh. All right, let's get this going. Oh yeah, just like that. Okay, okay. Mm, damn it, wasn't a weak spot. Nope, not today. Oof. Oof. 
It just it just flows. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We are just out here doing our thing. Sacred Sheet is here. Frostcraft is absolutely amazing. Recommend checking it out. If you like juicy damage. If you don't, there's plenty of other builds to use as well. But stay with my family. Till next time. Cheer gamer. Signing now.